Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you, Laravel default, JD stream, authentication, all that pages, how that things exactly set up. So that's all for the single user, right? By default, that will be as a single user. So now step by step, I will show you how can create that multi authentication system. Like right now, I'm logging with the user right now on to create another route that will be as the admin logging. When you select it as a admin logging, our another page, that means one of the logging pages will be loaded. And from here, if, if you put that admin email address, admin password, then that will be successfully logging. So how can do this work step by step? I will show you everything with the live example friend and I hope you like it very much. Like for doing this by default, that is one of the table as user, right? When you install that Laravel, when you install Laravel JD stream, we get some of the table and by default one of the table as a user. Now I want to create another table for the admin. So if you want to do this work, first of all, we have to do, we have to create one of the controller. I simply want to, that is our project as a JIT auth here. I want to create another new controller. So if you want to create this controller, I hope you already know that will be as a PHP artisan and make controller. And in our main page area, I want to create another new controller as an admin controller. Okay, that will be as an admin controller. There is a PHP artisan make controller as an admin controller. I simply create it, click as a enter. Now it will be created on the controller created successfully. If you want to get that controller, that will be in our main controller. That is our app and then the HTTP controller. And you can see that is our admin controller. Great. Right now we don't need this. I close it, close it and also close it. Perfect. And for the admin, I also want to do and to create another database table, right? Well, that will be just like our user for if you want to create it, I want to use that easy looking ORM. So if you want to use that looking ORM, we have to create one of the model. If you want to create that model, that will be a PHP artisan and then make model. And I want to create one of the model name as an admin model. And also at a time, I want to create one of the migration table. Now that will be created two of this file. It will be created one of the model and also it will be created one of the migrations table. You can also individually create that model. You can also individually create that migration. You, every, everything you, that is very basic, everything you will get it into the Laravel official website. Now I want to do and to click as enter. Now you can see it's now created one of the models successfully and also it's created one of the migrations table. A migration table i name it as admins now if you want to find out both of these files that is in our models you can see that is our admin model is successfully created and also in our database into the database that is a migration now there is a new migration table is added as admins great so as i told you friend that will be just like um our user so better form to the user i want to copy all that our field okay better i copy everything from here and now in our admin into the admin area i want to paste it so that will be all that our form here that will be one of the um, database table name will be as an admin and our field name will be as a name email email verified add the password the current id so that will be just like our user okay here i simply added all that field now we have to also update our model if you go to the, our model i want to copy everything from our user model okay i copy everything i simply copy everything and now if you go to our admin into this admin area only we have to update that our class name right now i want to simply paste it so here i paste it everything is great okay everything is great only our model name will be as a admin okay i name it as a admin great and then auth user authenticable so it's totally fine only i change that name as a admin and field will be protected because i actually added all the same field Right now, everything is just like that same. Okay, everything will be just like that same, only I change that name. If you now click as a save all, now we are ready to migrate. Cause here I have already created one of the table and that is all that our table field. I updated our model, now I want to migrate. So if you want to migrate, then you have to do here, right now that will be as a PHP artisan and migrate. All right, so now if you click as a enter, now that will be migrate our admin table successfully. And now if you go to our database again, now that should be another new table as a migrate, click as a admin. That means if you click as a refresh, you can see now there is a new table is added as admins. And into this admins table, there is the same things. Our all that field will be just like our user, 
right now i want to do i want to um, seed some of the data okay here you can manually insert some of the data right now i want to seed some of the data from our backend so if you want to seed this data if you go to our project right now we don't need this and also we don't need this if you go to that project if you go to the data page and you can see there is a factory as a user factory and also there is our seed data first of all i want to do and to create one of the factory so if you want to create this factory simply go to laravel official website and from here if you go to that documentation into the documentation that is our testing into the testing you can see that is our database if you select that as a database and here that is our factory you can see the factory states from here you can actually create it if you click into the factory states so right now i want to do and to create this type of one of the factory so if you want to create it that is actually our command line as a php addition make factory and that will be your factory name now i copy it and i want to update it so that will be here i in particular that position i want to do and to paste it sorry i copy it and then i want to do and to paste it so that will be as a php artisan make factory i want to create another new factory name as a admin okay i name it as a admin factory now if you click as the enter now it will be created another new factory as a admin factory if you go to our project again now you can see in our factory now there is our new one as a admin great so into the admin factory area here that is some of the return data okay return data means i want to push some of the data if you go to our user factory from to the user factory right now you can see that is a return same things actually that will be the just like that same uh, from to the definition okay from to the definition there is a return some of the things i better copy it i copy all the return data i copy it and now in our admin factory in our return position here i paste it because our database field name as the same name right now there is a name that is email email verified password they have some of the bitrip password it means that is a password okay that means that is will be our password on the bitrip password it will be storage this data and remember token will be as str random first of all i want to pass that name here in our field name that means in our admin table there is a field name in name here i want to insert the name i want to use that will be not that faker name i want to use static one of the string value and name it as admin okay so that will be our admin name and our email address here i'm also want to do i want to use some of the direct name so the direct name will be as admin at the rate gmail.com so that will be stored in our email field area as a admin at the rate gmail.com great and um e email verified will be now which is totally fine and our password field into the password field area here it will be stored some of the bitrip password and that is one of the bitrip password it means that is a password okay perfect so it will be stored this type of another bitrip password and remember token will be as a str random 10 or str random 10 when you access it that is one of the function as str also we have to do we have to load that str if you go to our user factory into the user factory you can see that is a str better i copy it and now here i simply want to use it as a str now our next step is we have to do we have to seed it right into the seeder there is another default file as a database seeder i want to allocate that that is one of the file and here there is a class into this class area by default one of the function as a run that means when you seed it which file will be executed which means which model will be executed here they have some of the note i want to make it as a comment out and i want to do i want to run our table name as a admin for the admin i have already created one of the model as a admin model right if you go to our models into the model that is admin model that will be executed so that is in our app models and then the our model name app models and model name i name it as admin okay so that will be the admin and factory 10 will be enough and then that will be the create okay so here i want to do i want to better make it only i make it as a empty okay then that will be get all the data factory it will be as a created great great so now we have to do we have to see it i click as a save all and if you want to see it simply run our command line and that will be as a php artisan and migrate and then i want to do under seed so i have already migrated so now only you have to add that our seed data now if you click as a enter artisan spelling mistake so that will be the php artisan migrate 
migrate and I want to see this data now click as enter now you can see it's now display as a nothing to migrate because I have already migrated our admin table right you can see our admin table is already in here now only I updated the database setting completed successful now all that our data that I have already passed it from to this position now that should be added in our table in our admin table if you now go to our admin table refresh it now you can see it's now successfully insert that data there is a name email address there is a verified as a now date and password you can see this created on the hash password right it's now successfully stored this data so that means that is a password everything is great so how to see this data how to create that admin table i hope every process is very much clear to you so from our next video i want to create some of the guards because that will be multi-authentication system by default laravel using the guard name as a web now i want to create another guard for the admin so how to do this work is step by step i will show you i hope you will like it very much so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video